Hi, so in this video, this is the uh, final video and it's a, um, an exam question relating to inverse proportionality. And if you have a look on the uh, YouTube channel, there is a playlist that relates to proportion or you can have a look at the uh, post on mathsrap.co.uk and there is a quick test that you can download and you can have a go at for yourself. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to be dealing with a grade A GCSE type question. It is fairly straightforward, and once you get the idea of proportionality, then it should be fairly straightforward. Most of the questions are pretty similar, really. Uh, I will write it underneath in the description box, and you can also, as I say, have a look at the post on MathsRap. Okay, so this particular uh, question deals with two um, values Q and T and what it tells us is that Q is inversely inversely proportional to T squared okay and the clue really in the question is inversely proportional so in other words the relationship is Q is proportional to K over T squared where k is the constant of proportionality. If you have a look at the uh, previous video, that will give you some idea as to where that comes from, but it's a fixed value that we use for these type of relationships. Um, it's the same rate at which things are done, and I think in the previous example I used, um, I think, painting a fence, um, and it's the fixed rate that they were painting, painting the fence at. So in this particular relationship, it just tells us that Q is proportional, inversely proportional to T squared. And the values that it gives us is that when uh, Q equals 8.5, then T equals 4. Okay. Um, and then the question asks us to use that information and then calculate a value of Q, so Q, when T equals, I think it's 5 on my notes here, yeah, 5. So when T equals 5, what's the value of Q? This is a fairly typical inverse proportion question. Sometimes they might dress it up with, um, I know, volumes of a sphere or something like that. But essentially, it's the same sort of question that you get in most of the GCSE curriculum. OK, so uh, what we need to do first is use these two values to work out the value of Q. So what we're saying is that when Q equals 8.5, then t equals 4. So it's going to be k divided by 4 squared, because the relationship is inversely proportional to t squared. OK, so if I now isolate the value of k, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 squared. Uh, if you're not sure how I do this, then have a look at some of the algebra videos on MathsRap or on the YouTube channel. Um, but really, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 squared, so it means my value of k, I think, is 136. OK, you might want to just pop that into a calculator and just check for yourself. But that gives us the value of k. What that means now is we can use that value um, and put uh, these numbers, or this unknown and this number, into the formula and that will allow us to work out the final part of the question, which is the value of Q. So um, Q is equal to K over T squared. So if I just put that Q equals K over T squared. And in this particular case now, our value of K we know is 136. So Q is 136 and T is 5. So it's going to be 5 squared. And if I pop that into my calculator, that will give me a value of Q of 5.44. And that would be 
the answer to your question. It might ask you to answer it to two decimal places or three significant figures or something like that, but generally speaking a lot of these questions are largely the same. If you have a look at the quick test on MathsRap, um, you can have a go at these and you'll see that actually it's quite difficult to come up with different questions, um, but essentially once you work out the value of k then it should be fairly straightforward for you. Um, I hope that's been okay. Please do uh, post, pin, tweet um, to the, the video or you can subscribe by clicking the link to the channel and uh, you'll be updated next time I post a video and I look forward to seeing you next time.